So I'm supposed to be watching my step, since this level's called Watch Your Step, but I don't see anything I shouldn't be stepping on. I don't know what the hell this game is talking about sometimes. Oh, it's these floor symbols, I guess. They spawn things. Ah, well, the more the merrier. Welcome to Watch Your Step, which is basically an arena level. You know, for fans of Serious Sam. Here's an ugly ass pain elemental again. Goddamn ugly bastard. Sick of his shit. In vanilla, there's a bird cage here that you're supposed to shoot to open the seeker behind this teleporter. But here, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to shoot. I guess the door across the hall? Whatever, it opened up and there's two switches in here, oddly. Don't know what those are for. You know, it's really odd when you play a game for a good portion of your life and you have locations and things down pat, and then a source port comes out and just flips everything on its ear. I gotta do the same thing over here, though I'd probably be having a better time with it if this fucking lost soul would bugger off. Hmm, this teleporter isn't usually here either. Oh, it takes me back to the arena. By the way, this main area looks mighty different. In vanilla, there's a big stone structure in the middle. I guess they wanted to make it a bit harder for you in this mod by not giving you as many places to hide. This arena spawns just about everything in Anya too, including a spider mastermind. I took care of the riffraff though, and it's on to spawn fear. This level is long. I mean long. I actually think this might be my least favorite level in the entire game, just because it's so long and there's so much backtracking. Open a door, kill a thing. Open a door, kill a thing. Open a door, kill a thing. It gets pretty repetitive. You're supposed to step on this platform and be raised up to shoot a switch, but I have mouse aim, so I don't even need to do that. Ouch! Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, ouch. Hey, what the hell? Son of a bitch revenant. I got the red key, now I gotta backtrack again. The only reason I even care about this level at all is because it has the entrance to the coolest secret level in the entire game. And my favorite level as well. Gotta wait through some crap to get to the gold, I guess. Well, this area sucks a fat one. Just a lot of enemies and traps and puzzle solving. For instance, this entire section here. You hit a switch, you get to the lift, you hit another switch, get to a lift, you hit another switch, punching myself in the testicles, explode a pan elemental, moving on. This part is particularly shitty because you actually have to walk on the lava to get the yellow key, and if you miss, like I did, you'll have to walk all the way back around walking through lava again. It's stupid and there's no reason for it. Anyway, I'm finally to the point where I can get to the secret level. Let's kill some revenants first. All right, let's do this. Time to go into the void. You wretch as a strange, acrid odor assaults you. Okay, two things. Number one, good use of the word acrid. I really think that sets the tone for what to expect here. Second of all, I can't imagine hordes of dead demons smelling very good. Does hell do viscera cleanup? I mean, if they do, who normally does that? Does he? Does Satan do it himself, or does he outsource? I mean, I'd like to think people in Satan's favor get to do viscera cleanup, since, you know, that's more fun than dying in lava or getting a pineapple shoved up your ass. No nightmare could have prepared you for this. I don't know, man. Normally, my nightmares involve being naked in public. I'm not sure the situation would change too much if the demons had to look at my dingle dangle. You realize that this place was not meant for living humans. Oh, I didn't know this game took place in Detroit. Makes sense. Into the Void. I love this level. Like, I really love this level. It's well designed, it's amazing. Yes, there's backtracking, but it's actually fun to do, unlike in Spawned Fear, where the backtracking just makes the level ridiculously long. Since I can jump now, I want to try something. Oh. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Invisible floor. 
Honestly, I can't say I'm too surprised. It isn't like in a medieval where you can just fall forever into the center of the skybox. Alrighty, I'm gonna need to turn off clip in for a second. There we go, much better. Here, watch me inadvertently telefrag a spectral pinky. Oh man, that's satisfying. So behind this mancubus, beyond the bars, is the last demon key, which we will get soon. Gotta finish the level first though. Gotta get to the blue switch, lots of teleporting. Okay, the backtracking is a little annoying, but the cool level design makes up for it. So, in the vanilla game, I would hit this switch, I would walk out onto the walkway, and there would be an earthquake that I would go investigate. It took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out that's not what I need to do here. I actually had to look up a video just to discover that there was a switch in a faraway wall by the exit. You shoot it, and then the sequence to start the demon key grab begins. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong in this world. No, it, it does though. This is a demon key. It's meant to be in hell. It, it doesn't belong in the mortal plane. Oh great, apparently grabbing that demon key spawns some pain elementals. I'm about over these guys to be honest. Whee! The Spiral. Uh, this is a pretty short level actually. You can probably beat this in about 20 seconds if you know exactly what you're doing. Normally I would have done that, but something possessed me to actually go around killing everything in this level and I'm not exactly sure why. Oh well, it's not important. Next up is Breakdown. If I didn't have 32,000 health, I probably would have a Breakdown. But I think we'll be alright. This might actually be the creepiest level in the game. I mean, just listen to the soundtrack. Jesus. Okay, if this doesn't scream trap, I don't know what does. Yep, loads and loads of pinkies. Good thing they all explode real nice thanks to my laser gun. Here's a column that I'm pretty sure I can just walk past. Yep, of course. Cuts a bunch of time out of this section, thankfully. Pitfalls is a pretty fun level. There's backtracking in it, but it's not nearly as bad as in Spawn Fear. You come down here to the pits, and you start getting shot at from all angles. Little do these demons know, I have 32,000 health, and there ain't a chance in hell they're taking me down. Here's a maze of corridors with lots of doors. Not too difficult to get through, thankfully. Really, the only time you have to backtrack in this level is after you've already gotten the blue key and the red key. But first, we actually have to get the red key, which takes a precise jump. Wow, we actually made it. What a shock. Usually, I'm pretty terrible at first-person platforming, so I figured I was heading for the lava. So, the backtracking I mentioned, you only really have to do it once in this level and all the way back to the starting room. See, that's how to do backtracking and not be annoying with it like in Spawned Fear. Time for Burnt Offerings. Yeah, that's actually the name of the level. It's actually pretty fun if you like Arachnatrons. See what I mean? Son of a bitch! Hmm, this room is different. Huh, no opening pits with Hell Knights in them? I guess this game is taking it easy on me here in the later levels. Surely something will happen in this big room once I get the blue key. Alright, never mind. This trap can suck it. It's a rocket launcher in vanilla, but they made it an item you really have to collect here in order to set up the trap and open the door. Also, 
more arachnotrons. Ooh, pretty lighting effects. You know, it really makes you appreciate the love and care that went into this mod thanks to Sergeant Mark IV. He did great. Almost makes up for the caca demons hiding in the walls. That's not a Sergeant Mark IV thing. That was in vanilla as well. Alrighty, let's see how this bit has changed from vanilla. No walls rushing at you? No ceiling crusher? Only four Hell Knights? Aw, oh, Brutal Doom, you shouldn't have. Sweet! Now I'm ready to kill about four more Arachnotrons and a couple of Revenants. Satisfying. Next is Unholy Temple, and in vanilla, this is the absolute worst level because it features a switch hunt with switches gated behind key switch combinations. It's a really fucking complicated and unnecessary, and thank fuck this port cuts that shit out. No, thankfully now, once you have all three keys, you can just go press the three switches and all the necessary gated switches will be available. No confusing combinations, no bullshit, well some bullshit because you still have to go to each of the locations and hit the switches, but you can certainly route the level better. Uh, why is this floor damaging me? I mean, I know in vanilla it's lava, but this is clearly not lava. The fuck? On to no escape, a bold-faced lie because there is an escape, killing a cyber demon, or multiple cyber demons on higher difficulties. Let's kill a cyber demon, guys. Time for the absolution, the final level of the game. I can't believe we've made it this far. Well, guess what, kiddos? It's time for one last music montage. Enjoy the carnage. I would expect nothing less from this game. Finally, the mother of all demons is dead. By the first time the demons knows... Jesus, this grammar is so awful. I believe all the personal has been compromised. 
you become a legend in hell known only as Doom Slayer. Well, there's the link to the 2016 game. You receive a message from the radio, which somehow works in hell. Whatever you did, it fucking worked. They're all falling back to the portal, says the commander, but you refuse to answer. You don't want to come back. Just let them think you're dead. You know, because being a prick is a quality of a true hero. Work for Duke Nukem, it can work for you too. You know that hell can't ever be destroyed, so you decide to remain there to rule it and ensure no demon ever rises again. Perfect, I am now evil incarnate. And that's it. That's Brutal Doom 64. I love this port, and I solidly recommend it for anyone wanting to relieve one of the best shooters on the N64, only without the wonky Nintendo 64 controller. I especially want to thank all you guys out there for sticking by and, you know, keeping an eye on the channel while I went through a content hiatus like I mentioned in my previous N64 chronologue video. Yeah, it took some time for me to finally get to this episode of Attract Mode, but rest assured, more is coming on the horizon. So be sure to join me next time as I start another adventure on a brand new episode of Attract Mode. See you next time.